Well, it is hot. 32 degrees it is today, and I'd rather be sat in the aircon in the car than sat out here fishing, I can tell you that. But good afternoon, welcome to this week's video. We're back at Swangy Lakes this week, three nights, and let's hopefully stick a cat on the bank. Fingers crossed, the first one this year. So this is the time of the day really where it is a little bit quiet and stuff so you can you know take your time and sort through your boxes and go through some tackles and I'm just going to make up a new hook link so I'll just take you through the hook link I'm going to be using for uh, baiting up some squid. So this is the rig that I'm going to use to make the hair rig for the squid so we've got some 55 pound cat link we've got a little ring and we've got a size 4 circle hook and then we've also got a pair of scissors for it as well. The first thing I'm going to do is just pull off a good length of the cat link. And then the first thing we're going to do is just tie a fairly large loop at the end there using a figure of eight. And then we take the circle hook and just feed that line through there. And the squid I'm using is quite small. And the great thing about using this method is that if your hair is too long, you can just feed it, sew it through the, the squid a little bit more just to make it a bit smaller. And then we're just going to run that around the hook, starting on the opposite side to where the uh, hole is on the, the eye of the hook. I'm going to go six, seven times around and then feed that straight back through the hook, he says. And then we're going to pull that tight and then you just want to make sure twist that round so the hair line is at the back of the hook like so and there we have it that is our hook length for our squid dead bait and that is literally just a, a baiting needle that's just pulled through the squid either like you're sewing through the squid and then just a little stop or a stick a piece of stick on the end there and hopefully that will do the damage this evening. Right, time to get some food on the go. We're gonna have lamb tagine cooked in proper tagine dishes tonight. So I'm just gonna get some uh, get some bits all prepped up and uh, let's get the uh, Frontier Plus fired up. So we're gonna be cooking in a traditional Moroccan tagine dish. Now these came from Morocco when I lived out there a few years ago. And it's an absolute great way of cooking and I really, really do recommend it. So it's basically your, your meat goes in and then your veg and stuff on top of it with a little bit of a sauce and then serve it up with some couscous. So we'll get all the veg prepped and then we'll look at putting the meat in. Right, so we just stick the dish on top of the stove there. Yeah. A yeah. little bit of oil. Right, so the lamb's pretty much browned off, so I'm just going to take that out. Just shove that in there for a second. And then we're just going to put in a cup of chicken stock. Right, so then into the chicken stock we've got this tagine paste that we're going to stick about two or three spoons. And then into that, it's going all our veg. And then the other bits there. top of that, a load of coriander, meat on the top, and then on goes the lid, and the one thing I just forgot was a few olives. And then for the crisscross, really, really simple. Just 
you don't need a tagine dish for your couscous. This is just to be authentic and just serve it up so it looks really nice. And we're just going to cover couscous with the water. Give that a little stir. And then we'll stick the top on that and then uh, we'll leave that for about 10 minutes and it just needs to be fluffed up with a fork and it's pretty much ready to go. And the second one. And, et voila. Oh, that is definitely going to be a ring stinger. Well, it beats a pot noodle anyway. Just. Cheek, he's done the washing up. Right, traps all set. So I've got one out with the squid and another one with the cat sticks. Uh, Gary's just getting his last one out. John's already got his out. And that is it, really. So just time to sit back and finish the old left. Oh, what a beautiful night. And it starts. Uh, he's off. He's off. Huh? That's not bad size, actually. What is it there, Gary? 28? 38? <laughs> Excellent. He's a bit mashed on his lip there, though, isn't he? A great old choppers. There we are. Not the biggest, but it's a cat, at least. What a beautiful fish. Well, it's actually pretty ugly, to be honest and stinks, but at least we've got one at last, the whole summer. Ugh. Right, good one. She's away. Right, well that's me done. We've just had the most amazing storm here. I'm packing up um, a night early. I've got to go home and do a few bits uh, that need to be done at home, unfortunately. So I've decided to just uh, knock it on the head, pack up with uh, all the bivvy all wet and everything. But it's been a great couple of nights here. I've really enjoyed it. Okay, we've only had one fish, but that was my PB, a 38.8 pound cat here. So absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoyed myself here. So I'll stick a link to Swangy Lakes in the description below if you fancy coming over and giving the place a look. And it is an absolute fantastic fishery, like I say, with a beautiful cafe on site that will actually deliver your meals in the evening for you as well. And an absolute spot on breakfast. So thanks for following along on this little uh, trip out to Swangy Lakes. It's been absolutely brilliant. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next time on the next one.